Hi guys, Jace here. At last I'm going to do the Lake Dunstan Trail. And we're starting here from the Heritage Precinct of Cromwell and it's about a 44 kilometer loop. It is actually about 55k long. It starts up at Smith's Way, which I started off today, and then back along into Cromwell. There are about 100,000 people already ridden this trail. So it is probably the most popular trail in New Zealand at the moment. So get here quick before the borders are open fully and it's going to be chaos. The drop off place, which I'll just show you behind me. Fee and the kids are getting their bikes out ready to rock and roll. Okay, Bannockburn Bridge, 5.1k. Felton Road. Love that wine. 5.8k. Let's go. Look at this. Pretty stunning. 25k into it. Here we are at the Bannockburn Inlet. Just about across the bridge. Oh, this is quite good. They've uh, made a little bridge alongside the road bridge. Signposts are good. Bye. There are all sorts of standards of riders on the trail, so just watch out. Some slower than others, some faster than others. Also, it's two-way, so just be careful of that fact as well. And try to be patient. First little hill coming up, you can see it's got switchbacks. And we're about at the 8 to 9k point from Cromwell. Welcome to Carrick Winery. That is beautiful on a sunny day. Is someone serving a cup of tea? Cup of, tea? of course, cup of tea. Ooh, it's like a motorway. From the 10 to 15k point here, I'm at about 15k or so. It's been pretty flat. And it's meandering along the river. I don't know if it's a river or a lake. I think it's still a river. And straight across we can see Cromwell there in the distance. So you get to the, what is it? Pretty much the 15k point and you're directly opposite where you started from. Yo! Meeting of the two rivers. The Kawaru and the Klutha. And there's the Cromwell Heritage area, just right across. Hello! Look at you! You're cool, man! So good! Well, it looks like he's used to doing these. And see the old bridges in the distance. Awesome. You have to be careful because there's other people coming the opposite direction. Looks like this is the start of where the engineering really gets interesting and where they put all the work in. Cutting it out along the rock face alongside the lake. Partly Bluff Bridge. <laughs> so good. Careful, no one's coming the other way. <laughs> Sorry. Are you on it? It's like a motorway here. Uh, well, I, I'm the last of that group. There may still be the people there. What was it? Sheltered in the cold. There's coffee. A float.
crazy busy I think so I think we'll probably just skip on don't rely on it that's for sure straight after you see coffee afloat we've got to climb Ken Mule ladder but only too much Not too bad there, not too steep. Top of the hill marks a 20k point. And a brief rest off for somebody. Oh, aren't we quite at the top yet? No. What goes up must go down. Yeah. Look at that, it's a beautiful flowy downhill now. We're about the halfway point now, 22 kilometers in. Past the hill, we've gone down the other side and we're meandering along the lake, about 50 meters above the lakeside. Oh, very cool. Stunning. Falcon Gully with a 24k point. A little bit of a hill. Yep. No one's coming. Bedrock Gully Bridge, you can understand why it's called that. Like we've got another little climb to come and um, we're at the who was it 27 to 28k point meanders are up there a couple of switchbacks looking down halfway hurt creek it's a bit of a cue for the lavatories i think oh they're having a break they may also be making themselves a little bit lighter. Here we are, it's a good viewpoint after that hill, 28k point. Go we'll down a bit, as you can see, and then slopes up, and then I think probably back down. Probably the last hill. Not sure if it was the very last hill or not. We'll soon find out. I think this cycle trail you get definitely the most bang for your buck. You are right there, it doesn't take long to get to, and straight away you're on interesting trails. And it's, you know, three, four hours, depending on how quick you wanna do it. Probably even less if you wanna do it quicker. But if you're meandering along four hours, if you're not used to doing these kind of trails, I'd definitely do another one first just to get into the swing of things because there are a few tight turns and a bit of elevation to do but it is a good one that is for sure cold stew flat Woo. is it flat don't know the 20k the 29k mark anyway Hasn't been anywhere near as busy after the hill from Coffee Afloat. I think it's spread out a little bit more along the trail. Or everyone stopped for a burger and a coffee. It's gone through Hyde Spur now. Nice downhill stretch till we get to the lakeside. 
Look at the beautiful trail as far as the eye can see along Lake Johnston Lakeside now. By the lakeside now, the 31k point, and these trails are shared trails, so you may come across some walkers. Hey, and as I say that, we came across some walkers. Coming up to a narrow trail here, it says dismount when passing, so just be wary. Is anyone coming the other way? It can be a long way down. Oh. We are at the 35k point now and the trail has got a lot easier and I think it's like this all the way in now. You may see just in the distance the dam. Popping out here at the Dunstan Arm Rowing Club. I'd heard it precinct about three and a half K to go. We have about three K to go. And we've just popped out onto the road. If you go in the other direction, you can park here and do the trail in the opposite direction. And now onto the river. Going over Clyde Bridge, back into Clyde. I've got 52 and a half kilometers on my clock. That's from where I start, and it's about 42 kilometers from Cromwell. There is a little bit of elevation, so just beware if this is your first ever trail. There are also a few tight corners, and just be wary if people are coming the opposite direction. Probably the best cycle trail in New Zealand, bang for your buck, and the most accessible. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe, and I'll see you out there on the cycle trails.